Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I know from when we last left off we just got into our first big fight by ourselves, our big boy fight. And we fought with Shadowheart. I believe that was her name. Uh, sorry I didn't upload on my days off. I actually got pretty sick and uh, I didn't feel like doing anything. Um, but I'm feeling better now. Uh, I was a lot worse than now. I felt like I just needed to sleep all day. I felt super congested. Congested. Excuse me. I've been drinking a little bit. So this is going to be a semi-buzzed, almost drunk recording of Baldur's Gate 3. Which is fine by me. I've been wanting to record some episodes. Right now my daughter's asleep, so... Let's get this playthrough going. Okay, so like, I think I have made a mistake. Okay, let's just kind of do a recap. This is, um, main attack. This is, knocks a creature prone within a vicinity. Um, okay, we, four health potions. I can throw that to make things go together. Um, let's cast that first time. some extra food on myself. Oh, I have to have a long rest to do. Okay, so let's do this. So let's do a. Let's see a. Alright, let's do that. And then. Let's have a rest. Let's go to camp. Okay, so we ended a whole day. We're gonna rest. I just gave myself some provisions because we got our ass handed to us last time. Um, Alright, we're good. Let's continue on. So we had our big battle here with the brains, Battle of the Brains as I like to call it, and I don't know exactly where it's taken, uh, let's go loot this guy, okay, and uh, again, welcome to my channel, it's Harley from the frame play, in case I didn't start it off like that, uh, I do want to say thank you all for tuning in, um, we've actually got quite a bit of views for such a small channel. So, I'm actually very surprised. I want to say thank you all for watching, and those of you new subscribers, um, thank you, welcome, let's, uh, let's start this journey, I've been, I like this game, ooh, a clamshell, reminds me of, uh, Divinity, <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to say it, but you, you guys know, this is, this is made by the creators of Divinity, the original Sin, um, a very awesome game. Cool. I figured we're gonna need that and a clamshell. Clamshells might be worth some money. Okay. Uh, a wooden trunk. Does she have abilities to open? Let's see. Okay. Well, can you bash it? You can. Was there anything in there? Nope. Oh, I want the character. Dang. Nothing. Not a darn. Oh, I'm stuck on here. Um, but yeah. Hopefully my mic is picking up good enough. If not, we'll fix it eventually. I'm trying. I have to be quiet because my daughter, of course, has to be asleep. She needs to sleep. She's a baby. Who's this guy? Okay, okay, hold on. I don't want to talk to this guy yet. I haven't even finished seeing what's over here. Or maybe he's an additional party member. Hold on. Oh, but I hear someone yelling. Okay, let's talk to this guy first. And then see what he says. I don't know if there's going to be... Hurry! I've got one of those Constance. brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? 
Um. Kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Um. Let's see. Let's do a dexterity check. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Barely. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Um, you have it backwards. They snatched me up too, dude. I'm not an idiot. I saw- ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Glad to see we're all caught up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Hmm. Let's do just a basic introduction to myself. Hi, I'm Grounded Earth. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Um, you should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Cool. Lead on. We got the uh, Pale Elf, also known as Asterion. Okay, now. Let's, uh. Is there something down here for me? Ah, boy. He's showing me something. Ooh. Damn. Um, you know what? Let's uh destroy the board. It ran away. Maybe I should have done animal handling. Oh well, next time. So, uh, yeah, this is Baldur's Gate 3. You know, it's it's something uh, crazy, but, you know, it's an RPG, and I think it has a lot of potential, even though it's in early access. And a lot of stigma goes around early access being how terrible it can be. 
and how long it takes for games to More finish. survivors? Oh. They're trying to dig somebody out of the wreckage. Let's Something's see. wrong. They should be trying so to get away blood. if they had any sense. Let's, uh... Just get her person they're trying to save, it's the creature from the ship. Still alive, but wounded. Oh, let's do a persuasion. Er. Ooh. Please. Please, please. Damn. Your words fall on deaf ears. The creature's hold on them is too strong. That's my daughter! She's dying! You... You did this! Uh-oh. I know you where this goes. Kill her. Well... He's gonna go to the bank now. Huh? Another crossbow. Yep. Knew it. Okay. What does this guy have? You know what? Let's do a. What, is, uh, what does he have? Just a sword? Okay, and these guys are crossbows. Let's take out the range first. Let's get this guy up close and personal. Let's do a dash. Let's get over here. Sick. Um, let's just fall back under here a little bit. Okay. Is that me? Let's do a hit on this one. Boom. To level up, use the cross button on the character's portrait in the bottom left to gain the benefits of leveling up. Cool. Can I make it to them? No, but... Again. And let's move a little bit closer, huh? And that should be good. What is my long range? Does she have any long range? No, nope, she does not. Um, oh. Suddenly, something convulses inside you. Your vision lurches sickeningly. You are one with your assailants. Your minds fused together. They are frightened, lost. The creature in the wreckage is forcing them to attack you, controlling them like puppets. Its voice shivers across your brain, seeking access, trying to bend your will to its bidding. Hmm. Okay, come on. Let's roll wisdom, please. Yes, okay. The presence in your mind gropes for purchase and finds the tadpole instead. You push back, taking advantage of a tremor of pain that cuts through the creature. As its influence wanes, your assailants lower their weapons. Blinking in confusion. Where... Where are we? There was... Fire in the sky and... And then... Oh, God! My friends! What happened? Well... Mm. 
Uh, you're protecting that creature. Gods. I... I think you're right. It called out from the wreckage. It sounded just like my daughter. But... She's been dead for years. That thing got into our heads, drove us mad. We wrecked our boat just trying to get close to it. What do I do now? Um, first things first, where are we? We're nowhere. That's the point. Even with a boat, Baldur's Gate is days. Wait. You. I can feel you. Just like one of those things. You're one of them! Um, calm down. They abducted me, but I escaped. There's something in your head. Please. I'll take my chances out here. Just... Just don't hurt me anymore. Hmm. Simpletons. The beast was half dead and they still bowed to its whims. They're just coming, folk. Have some sympathy. Mm. He was pretty weak. He didn't want to push forward. So you know what? That kind of weakness sickens me. Let's go. In case there are any other weak-minded fools about. I think my druid's going to be a little bit... I forgot. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? Are these creatures truly bad? Let me see. The poor creature is on the brink of death, but there's still time. You'd give your life to save it, to nurse it back to health. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. All right, let's do this. We're gonna try and break into its thoughts. Ooh, that's a high target though. Ooh, critical. Your mind spews, lusting for something that is gone. But then, its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. Hmm, maybe I should just submit. Get away from that thing. Hmm. Warm, wet tentacles wrap themselves around your head, and for the first time in your life, you're perfectly happy. <laughs> oh man, that fucking sucks. There's no autosave in between there? My dumbass. Well, I'll see you in a bit, guys.